All right, hello and welcome to uh, the Marketing Mogul of, of MLSP training. Um, before I go into, my name is April Ray, by the way, <laughs> and this is, you're looking at my, my profile page. Before I go into how to actually use MLSP and before you start, you know, posting your links, um, there's a proper way to go about doing it, but you want to get your platform set up. And I know we haven't gone into branding as of yet, but I think that starting with um, your social media, getting that um, set up in the proper way so people know that you're in business, um, but not in an overt way, is uh, the first place that I wanted to get started. So I'm gonna show you some examples of Facebook uh, pages and profile pages. And the first thing I wanna show you is uh, how to connect your profile page with your Facebook business page. And if you don't have a Facebook business page, it's really easy to create one. You do wanna have one because there's a lot of things that Facebook allows businesses to do that you cannot do on your um, profile page. You really don't wanna be promoting your business on your profile page. Nobody cares about that. Nobody's interested. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna basically repel people from you when you do that. But there are ways of marketing properly on um, your, your social media pages, your Facebook page, in order to get people interested to find out more about what you're doing. Uh, and the first thing is to connect your profile page with your, with your business page. And this is my profile page. Um, before I go into the branding aspect, I'm just going to show you this uh, in this video. I'm going to try and keep the videos as short as possible so it's not taking up too much of your time and you can just kind of consume it in little bite-sized chunks. So in this episode, we're just going to talk about connecting your pages and I'm going to show you some quick, some quick examples. So if you notice here in the intro section, we all have an intro section. Uh, you want to put your uh, information about what you do, you know, get creative with it. We'll talk about that later, but you want to add your uh, business page. So you want to go over to and click edit. And if you notice, this is going to be my business page. Um, it'll, you can put co-founder of something, you can put um, uh, work with me at whatever your business page is, whatever you've named your business page, um, as long as as long as that, I can't even talk, as long as it's right here so people can find you. Okay, so here, let me just cancel that and I'll click on this and it's gonna take you directly to my uh, actual business page. And of course, it's taking forever to load. I actually already have it up, so let's just go there because this is taking forever. So this is my business page. Um, and this is where I do, this is where the money happens. This is where I make the money. Um, and it's a simple page. It's n not that much different. The one thing I do like now is that they don't have the profile page interrupting your cover photo anymore. They now have it on the side. So I think that's really cool um, that they now have it on the side for you um, so that you can put more information here. So let's go look at some other examples. This is, these are some of my marketing friends uh, in MLSP. This is Jelena, and I'm not going to pronounce her wonderful, beautiful um, last name. This is her profile page. Notice that she has a nice picture of herself. Um, there's not more than one person in her profile page. There's not a cat or a flower or anything like that. You want to make sure that you have a nice smiling picture of you because your profile page is the gateway to your business page. So you want people to know um, that you look intelligent and that you're, you, know, you're, you don't have a picture of yourself looking down into a camera or like I've seen some people that have a cigar in their mouth or a cigarette or they have their cat. Um, you wanna have a picture of yourself, not you and your husband. Um, you can have you and your husband in the cover or you and your family in the cover photo, but not the actual picture itself. And if you scroll down to her intro section, she has a nice little area of what she does, entrepreneur, blogger, video marketer, that's where she, she uh, specializes in YouTube and video marketing. Branding for, and she has her tagline, very simple, branding for home biz owners. And then she has her website address. But if you notice down here, this is her business page. I'm just gonna hover it, I already have it um, up over here, so I'm just gonna go to her quickly to her business page. If you notice her business page is a collage of all of her events, company events that she's gone to. She doesn't name the company events per se. Um, she has her, um, her website address in the center and 
you don't know what business she's in, but she does some marketing. She does market MLSP. Um, and you know, we'll get into the content. She has videos on there. We'll get into the types of contents that you want to put onto your, um, on your pages um, in a later video. Let's look at uh, Claire. Claire is from England. She's a mompreneur. Check out her. This is her. This is actually her business page. Um, I wonder, did I have? I, well, I didn't go. I didn't have her. I couldn't find her profile page for whatever reason. But this is her business page, and she has a nice picture of herself here. No children. No picture of her uh, company that she's um, representing. So if she's in Avon, it's not going to be Avon here. None of your uh, company information is going to be in your in your pages. This makes it free for you to market any way you want. So you don't want to um, you don't want to do that. She has a cute little section. Um, this is a nice little she. This is a nice little cover photo that she had created. Um, you can get cover photos created. You can either do them yourself if you're good at it, or you can have it done for five dollars at Fiverr. And I'll put that link um, also in the in somewhere in the video. She has mompreneur, branding, freedom lifestyle, home business coach, social media training, online leads training. Okay, so this tells her, tells us what it is that she specializes in. She also has um, a little tagline under here, coaching mompreneurs to success. You can tell her target market is moms and mothers. All right, let's look at Dr. Lisa. Lisa Thompson, also an MLSP. Um, this is her this is her profile page and she has her picture of her getting an award in MLSP. That's, that's an acceptable picture. You notice she has her smiling face in the profile um, photo. She also has her intro, right? She has passionate leader, learner, teacher, social media, and sci-fi geek. I like that because it tells a little bit more about who you are. So I always talk, I always tell people, put stuff about you that you love you know, stuff that's not about business, okay? Just like, I love old Hollywood, and you see that all in my branding. I love, um, you know, I love the, the, the golden era or the black and white. There's something about black and white movies that makes me warm and funny, f f warm and fuzzy, and I think it's because I used to watch old movies with my mom when I was a kid, and I just adore it. So, you know, I, I incorporate that into my brand. So you wanna get creative with that. She's a wife to her, and then she names her husband, two dogs, and then down here, she puts in the work area what she does, and then she has a link to her fan page. And I will, I already have that pulled up, so I will just go there. And this is her fan page. All right, so on your fan page, you definitely want something specific. You don't want a general cover photo that of, a, of some waterfall or flowers or something like that. You know, create your, start getting, start thinking now about how you want to present yourself online. What do you want to specialize in? She is helping marketers build their brand, get leads and sales using social media. And then she has her, um, this is actually her website address here as well. And she, of course she has the same picture in her, um, pro, in her business cover photo. So you want to start thinking about, you know, what is it that you want to, um, how do you want to present yourself? What is going to be your tagline of what you do? And we'll talk more about that later as well. Let's go over to uh, Gordon really quick. He's also in one of our marketing buddies. This is his um, cover photo, I mean his profile page. And your profile page, you can have anything you want up here, but you always want to have a clear picture. I, I keep reiterating that because um, I get a lot of friend requests and some people will have pictures of this. I'll have a lot of guys with their shirts off. And, um, it, and, the, and, the, and when I look at their, their information, they're supposedly in some sort of business as well. I'm not going to choose those people to be friends with. It's not a professional picture. Now, someone asked me, do I think that you should get professional photos done? I think you should. When you have the time, I didn't do it in the beginning. I just used a nice picture of myself smiling. Um, as long as it's clear and you're smiling in it and you're letting people see that you are friendly and you're approachable, then that's fine. But when, when the time comes, you really should invest in um, professional photos. And there's other ways, the reason why also is because there's other ways that I use those professional photos in my marketing as well. So if you notice, he has his intro, 
you know, globe traveler. So he's in the travel industry, but he's not saying anything about his business per se. Globe traveler and entrepreneur serving the world. He loves Snapchat. I think that's his, um, that's one of his main marketing strategies and Instagram. And then of course he has his, um, taking care of business at, and then his fan page. So I already have that pulled up. So we're just going to go right over there. And this is a nice clean picture of uh, him. You can, like I said, you can get that professionally done for $5 at Fiverr. Just give them a picture of yourself. They'll take out the backing and then they'll, they'll do all the rest. He has his website address, living life on your terms, home business coach, trainer, social media marketer. So those are some really, really good um, examples of how you want to present yourself um, on social media. Now with Twitter, Twitter, you know, you still want to make sure that your branding is consistent. Um, so you're going to be doing the same thing with that, the same thing with Instagram, the same thing with Pinterest and so on and so forth. Um, let's look at Jed. Jed, now here's an, a, an example of what you really should not do. Um, he has, a, this is his, his regular profile, profile page. Um, you really don't want to you don't want to advertise here. He should really just keep that here. He has, I'm an exercise physiologist, former volunteer firefighter, network father and husband, networker father and husband. He should just keep that here. And if he's going to have his family, it should be in the total cover photo, but it should just be a picture of him. Um, um, not, not, not the family in the actual picture photo itself. He can do it on his cover, but not the picture. Okay. He does, however, have his, um, this is actually, I think this was one of his first Facebook pages that didn't go through. So this is his actual Facebook page, but you can find it. That's so important. I can't stress enough is that you have to link your cover photo. I mean, your, um, your, um, profile page with your business page. And I already have that pulled up so that we'll go over there. Now, see, he ha now he can have this here. This is his business page. So this is fine for him to put all this information up here. Um, I would still keep the picture of just him. Um, and the reason why I say you don't want to have more than one person, because I, um, I have a, someone that have approached me on Facebook, and they have, um, I didn't recognize the name. I kind of recognized the name, but when I went to their profile page, there are two people. And they were both women in the picture and I didn't know which was which. I didn't know who I was actually talking to. So you don't want to have other people in your profile page. You can have them, like I said, in the cover photo, the cover, this is the cover photo, but not on, not on your, not on your image itself. Okay. And so he talks about what he does as a physiologist and he has his tagline. If you're willing to change from the neck up, then you will change from the neck down. So get creative with your tagline. Um, and last but not least, I think I had mine up here somewhere. What did I do with it? Okay. So yeah, this was mine. This is actually taken from my, this is a picture that is from my website. So the branding is consistent. If you go to my website, you'll see this very same picture. This is my, uh, this lovely woman right here is the introvert mogul. That is my, um, that's my logo, um, professional picture here. Um, and we'll talk about how to fill in this information back here as well. Um, videos, and I won't go into all of the, uh, I won't go into what to post yet because I want to keep this short. So that's basically it. Um, let me go back to my, uh, let me go back to my profile page really quick if it is going to be really quick. Maybe because I have too many windows open. But anyways, all right. So this is um, my profile page. It, Live your dreams, it's possible. And it's a quote from Lisa Nicole Cloud who happens to be in my, um, in my uh, opportunity. So it's kind of code for people who want to know if I'm in my, this particular company that I'm with. If they see this, they're kind of gonna kind of know that yeah, we're we're she's in this she's in the same company that that we're in. So they're kind it's kind of like code. <laughs> but I have my entrepreneur, online marketing coach, direct sales professional. So you pretty much know who I am, that I am in business, um, but it's not overt. Um, I also have it brand strategist, old Hollywood fanatic. 
because I love old Hollywood, internet marketer, direct sales professional in my intro, and then of course, I'm the CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Um, that's the same name as my website, which is theintrovertmogul.com, and then this will take you to my, to my uh, direct um, business page. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, I think that gives you a kind of a good overview or a good idea. Make sure that if you haven't uh, set up your business page, you know, don't get, don't if you're don't get overwhelmed by all the things that you need to set up. You ha if you're using MLSPs, WordPress, Words um, website. That's great. Everything is there for you. It's going to be really easy. Take your time with that. You know, we really you want to start getting started uh, as quickly as possible, and you can do that on Facebook uh, and and your social media platforms. Start thinking about your training, where you want to, um, where you want to be proficient at, and what is it that you want to teach people as well. Um, in the next video, we're going to talk about some of the things, uh, some a little bit more about branding and. Um, starting uh, building groups in Facebook, groups in Facebook and LinkedIn. Start, uh, that's a really great place to start marketing um, MLSP or any other businesses that you might be in. All right, so that's it. Um, I hope that wasn't too long. I can't see my counter. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.